Hello and welcome to the Z Vlog. It is freezing, so I'm wearing my bathrobe. No, I did not just get out of a shower or do anything inconspicuous. I got my coffee, so let's roll. Uh, first on our uh, topics of things to do today, I would like to do a quick review on a really cool item I procured. Let's see if I can find it. Ha! The Skyrim art book. This has all the, well not all, I'm willing to bet there's like a hundred times more art that they did that's not in here, but this is the stuff they used. And this is like amazing stuff because, oh, you turn to like the very first page and it shows you the team. <laughs> and that's a huge team just, you know, building a game. That is huge building a game. So, this is just absolutely amazing. Like the artwork in here is just absolutely gorgeous and, and it shows you what they're looking for and what caliber of uh, art they're looking for if you want to go into this industry of, you know, conceptual game designing and conceptual movie designs and whatnot. And what I noticed though, a lot of stuff is actually very, very sketchy and two-tone color and stuff like that. It's just like they're trying to get the space and the idea in there more than than the detail and everything because I guess that's just for the graphics guys to worry about like all the details and everything. They're just trying to get the ideas. But this is a great, great, great item to have. And uh, I don't think you can buy this anywhere. Maybe you can. I don't know. I'd have to go to Amazon or eBay or because uh, this doesn't have a barcode on it at all. And I got it with my super legendary deluxe edition of Skyrim. Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim. Um, and uh, well, there's a picture of me making out with Skyrim. Super legendary deluxe edition. Not awkward at all. Give this an A plus out of an A plus. I have to rate it as anything. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 11. <laughs> no, I mean 11 out of 10. And uh, next on our list of things to do is uh, I do not have an artist right now because I want you guys to pick artists or promote yourselves and say, hey, Zach, you should like totally put me up there and help me get my name out there because I want to help you guys help yourselves. And that's kind of the point of this whole entire thing in the first place. So, um, just in the comments below send me a link with your art and everything we'll try to get you guys out there you know so that brings us to the tutorial and uh the tutorial tutorial all right so to start with the blank canvas then i put down a layer in which i put just a color fill of gray and that is just to get the mid-tones in really really quickly uh i suggest it if you haven't ever tried it it works really well then instantly start blocking in lots of uh basic shapes and details of the the face basically just to trying to get the forms down which is really important because what you're trying to do is focus on the composition first details second composition first details second remember that First, detail second. Trying to get proportions, all that stuff, that's all composition. Trying to get that down instantly. What you should be able to do is zoom in and out all the way really out, and it should look almost the exact same as when it's like zoomed in. You should be like, oh, I should be able to tell, you know, all that stuff and whatnot, and you should be able to recognize it's a face like right away without there much detail being put in or anything. And then after I put in uh, the composition and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it, feeling pretty strong. I go in and add details like that left or her right eye, what we see the left eye. And the reason why I see that one is because when you look at a, a something you want to nail inside of a photograph, which is what I took this from, and uh, this is an amazing model by the way, Vicky Crystal. Uh, just make sure if you're ever using any of her work, go and ask for it. So I asked her, you know, hey, what's up, Vicky? Can I use your old face in a face tutorial? She was like, cool. So, yeah, just make sure you go and ask. Uh, there would be a link below with her her modeling work and whatnot at DeviantArt. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Uh, I start working on that eye because uh, you'll see things that you will have to nail. You know, you see, like, uh, there's those parts of the piece that you really have to nail in order to get it to look exactly the way it's supposed to look. And that's why I worked on that one first and tried to get it as close to it as possible. It's because I knew if I could nail that eye, I could get the other pieces of the composition to fall into place. Which worked out very well. So I got that nail, that eye pretty close. I don't think it's like 100% done, but it's pretty close. And then, then uh, I just start, you know, detailing and working in the shapes and everything. And I keep looking back at the photo and whatnot. And, and uh, with the brush... 
that I'm using right now, it's actually, I, I switch between the circular brush and the, uh, the paint brush that's kind of a square looking weird paintbrush. So I keep going back between those and what I do is for the fine lines I do one uh, pixel as the, how big it is and then I do maximum uh, opacity. Okay. So I have that one at max opacity, but it's only at size of one. And uh, that just gives you really, really fine lines and details and everything. And I have this really sketchy style that I've been developing, and it's been working really well for me. And I go in really like, fast with that. And uh, it just, it's just really just a lot of tedious just going back and forth, making sure you get the shapes and the shadowing right and everything. And this reminder, this is the first part of this tutorial. I should and will make other ones based on this one, but only if you guys want me to, if you guys want me to take that step further and add color and or make it really super finely detailed, uh, just let me know though, because uh, I don't want to go in and do a lot of work for something that's like, well, I want it, I see a dragon being made, All right? So uh, yeah, just please, please, please let me know what's going on. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, quick, like, just throw it in there. Uh, Mid-tones are very, very important when doing pieces. Uh, yeah, contrast is great and everything, but uh, you need to have some mid-tones in order to balance out the, the piece. Uh, if you don't have any mid-tones, all of a sudden they start feeling really flat like a comic book, which sometimes in some cases is a good thing, but sometimes you want it to look like stylized in a comic book because that's your style and or you're making a comic book. Then I go in with the big brush. It's the big uh, feathered out brush that's circular and I, I kind of balance out the light uh, that you should be doing this constantly with black and white. Like uh, It's almost the same thing as doing burning and dodging, but uh, it, it's, it, it keeps it more balanced because what burn does is it ups the contrast of the colors and or the black and the darks and lights and the midtones, and it, it it kind of gives it like a grainy look, which is okay sometimes. But uh, I, I like to stick with trying to do it with black and white. And the same thing with dodge. All it does is it lightens up those areas where it's just lighter. Hello, Uh So uh, <laughs> that's the face tutorial for now. Uh, left it as a very. <laughs> Welcome back. How'd you like the face tutorial? Leave comments, let me know what's going on, uh, if you want me to push this further or if you want me to do something new. Just let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, that's the very first episode of the Z-Vlog. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Peace.